Yeah, baby. Woo! Nice. Oh, man. Woo! Woo! Yeah, baby. That's right. We're getting pumped. Nice. We're getting pumped. Oh, hold on. We got one more one more badass here. Hold on. I can't. Oh, all right. He's got it fixed. All right. <laughs> Don't deprive the audience, Robert, from seeing your beautiful face, my friend. Come on. <laughs> What is going on? We got the Uganu Con Fuego crew up in the hazy sun. That's right. It's your boy, Fat Samurai Guy, back again, baby. Mm-hmm. And we're going to have a good old time talking about this movie. And I'm 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 angry at Mr. Lobo himself because I was going to sing his praises. He ain't here, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. He's busy. He's busy. But big shout out. Busy to guy, him. right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, but yeah, it's awesome to have all of you badasses here. Hanging out with the samurai guy. Oh, we got some people in here. We got Todd saying it's showtime. Oh, yeah. Got some what people up? here. Ex- excited. That's right. Got Cyclone saying, let's go. That's right. Clutch to Joe saying, yeah, boy, in the house. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Todd's already excited. We, we didn't even start the show technically or get into it yet, but he's already excited here. Todd yeah, lives in the awesome. future. He's already seen the show and he knows how amazing it is. That's it. That's He's it. just that's come it. backwards in time to let us know if we're going to do a great job. <laughs> well, it's awesome to see everybody here. What's going on, Heather? But yeah, let's uh, let's let's go around uh, around the around the bend here. Introduce yourselves. It's been a while uh, since you've been here on the channel, so we'll t- we'll start with the main man himself, Bobby. Go ahead. Hi, Bobby Samuels, uh, the lead actor in uh, Uganda Con Fuego, and uh, I've worked a lot in hong kong so you guys know <laughs> that's right nicholas i'm nicholas ortiz i am the writer director producer vfx editor music man on Uganda con fuego <laughs> <laughs> all right awesome and robert hey uh rob jefferson i am the producer and bit player in the film as well as all around on set behind in front story action concepts whatever whatever needs to be done producer guy our behind there the scenes go. director for behind the bullets the documentary yes. that's oh that's that along well. with yeah. the movie yes now, thank you Nick. Uh, I forgot quick, that thing. quick question nicholas i i loved it i really enjoyed the documentary mm. thank you uh, everywhere that uh people can watch the film yeah will the documentary be they'll be included afterwards yes everywhere okay yeah everywhere awesome mm-hmm. awesome Oh, here he is. We got one more extra badass showing up here. There he goes. Hey, All right. Lewis, how you hey. doing, brother? Glad how you guys doing? Good, good, good. Glad to have you here. I know exactly uh, what happened. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened while okay. we're showing up right now. He was like, where is the hat? I have to find this hat. <laughs> uh, he's like tearing up the bedroom. <laughs> it was here. <laughs> He's like, Chrissy, where's my hat? He's like, it was in the um, hanging on the thing. He's like, you sure? Uh, <laughs> facts yeah, welcome, all the way. <laughs> yeah, welcome, Lewis. Welcome back. Introduce yourselves, everybody Thank watching, you. really quick, though. Go ahead. Uh, how you doing? I'm Luis Orlando Cruz, and um, uh, yeah, I am a a stuntman, also a one of the you know action. I am the action director of Cuando uh, Con Fuego. And also partner with uh, the guys that you see on the screen, uh, brother Roberts, both of them, and and Hefe, Nick. <laughs> nice, so I, nice. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to call Robert Bobby because we got two Roberts here. You know, right? <laughs> you you saw me, Jeff. But Bobby and Jeff. That's how we had to do it. <laughs> yep. Oh man. Well, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Hey, hey, Samurai guy, gonna get real right now. I'm gonna get real with it. Uh oh, uh oh. Bring it on. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's get it. Here we go. Oh, he's cracking the knuckles. Oh boy, we're in trouble. Oh, oh, nice. Excellent <laughs> job. Excellent. Wait, hold on. Wait, I got to Hold on. Hey, ho. Oh, we got another one. What? Scratches. <laughs> this movie scratches the motherfucking action itch, baby. That's right. I am. I was. I, I should have did a reaction. I should start doing reaction videos of me watching films <laughs> not just trailers bobby i was over here jumping up and down man i was watching oh, i was man, watching these fight scenes sure. and everything and i was like oh shit i was like what oh what like i was losing it i was losing it. i was so happy uh you, with man. what i was watching i mean congratulations to all of you man all of your hard work 
making it happen, getting it done, and it's it's released. You know, yeah. everybody can watch it. Yep. I mean, it's hey, hey, I am very proud, very proud of all of you. You guys did such a fantastic job. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, just jump right into this here. Uh, Right off the bat, Bobby, uh, phenomenal performance, my friend. Thank you. Phenomenal performance, man. Like this. Thank you. Really. Thank you. I mean, it it was with it was it was with Nick's capable direction. You know, Uh, when they brought the character to me, you know, it was just his writing was just right on point with the character, and about you know I've co-starred with everybody over the years. You know, Samo. Yin Wu Ping, you name it, you know, and then I've worked in the United States and in and, and music videos, but I, I, I never got the opportunity to actually just be the lead actor. And so, you know, with Nick, you know, he gave me that opportunity. He came up with a, a well-crafted script and, you know, I just hope the audience uh, likes it as well, which I, so far we've been doing pretty good, you know, uh, 19 festival awards. So, you know, hey. I think, and Nick got me best actor in New York. So, Brother, that's a tough guy. That's yeah, a tough hey. nothing. It is. It's real tough. <laughs> awesome, man. Congratulations. That is that is Thank awesome. You. Look, we even got some fans up in here in chat. That's right. <laughs> representing. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Uh, but yeah, just just phenomenal. It 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 scratched the itch. And I know when we talked like earlier this year, I think it was way back in January, yeah. the last time you guys were here, yeah. we pre premiered the trailer. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, it's been that long. Um, time flies, right? Uh, and I, I've already enjoyed the trailer. Like, I got the vibe, you know. And but sometimes, what happens sometimes is the trailer supposed to the trailer supposed to be made to hype hype up the movie, right? Right. Even if the, either the movie's good or bad, yeah. <laughs> it's there to hype it up, right? Hey, hey, the movie destroys the trailer, man. It's not even <laughs> it's not even close. Thank you, brother. The Appreciate action, it. the violence, the fight choreography, the way things are filmed. It's not even it's not even close. Okay. The movie completely blows the trailer away. So all you guys out there, if you've seen the trailer, you enjoyed it, great. But still go out and watch the movie because you're I'm telling you, you're gonna be blown away. Blown away. But yeah, let's talk a little bit more uh, about the film here. Right, right, our boy here, uh uh a guapo here. Yeah. <laughs> Jose, Manuel. Jose, Jose, Jose Manuel. Yes. From Puerto shout, Rico. Hey. shout out to Jose. Shout for out. Sure. Huge shout out to Jose. He killed it. Knocked it out of the park. With this first altercation here, I was like, I was waiting for the first action scene. And when this happened, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, shit. I've already, I'm already enjoying how he's moving that blade around. Yeah. And how he's reacting, and you guys are going at it. I was like, "Oh, we're, I, I, I like, I didn't, I had any, if, if, I didn't have any doubts anyway. <laughs> but if I had doubts, that scene right there just put put it at rest. They put it at rest because I was like, "All right, all the other fights are going to be dope. I already know. I trust Bobby. He's a legend. Nicholas, you know, he knows what he's doing. All these guys are legends here. And so Orlando, right. Orlando, Orlando, with the action, you know, bro, you and Hector and and Angel Dude. Grove, wow." You know, three, three action directors. They, they, no, they, they it was, great, man. Hats off to them. It was, it was intense. It was, it was real <laughs> intense. <laughs> it's just phenomenal job. So, Orlando, uh, how long did it take to do this first altercation here? This whole big, because this is a big set in the big scene in the film. And I don't want to go into too many spoilers because I want people to see the movie, but uh, they come calling here, a uh, Lobo's yeah. group uh, in, uh, in uh, Bobby's home here. And uh, how long did it take? Was this a difficult shoot, Orlando? Uh, so uh, how long did it take? So, so this one, the the the, the whole the whole shoot in entirety, or the scene? Are we talking about just are the fight choreography? This the whole fight? Yeah. Okay, so on the on the on the on the fight scene with uh, sorry, it's breaking out. Sorry, it's yeah, all good. So on the on the fight on the fight on the fight scenes, um. So, I'm, I guess I'll go from first to, to last. Is that, that sure. okay? Sure. Right. Yeah. So the, the 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 first ones, the first ones, they were they were like, it was you know we did first a walkthrough, right? And and the day as soon as soon as we got there, it was just like, hey, let's walk through the whole set. And as we are walking through the set, uh, uh the final set, the, the final uh, fight scene where they have like the, the, the whole ch- ch- bang happened at the end. We yeah. did that the first day, and we did a walkthrough envisioning how it would go. And from there, we kind of worked backwards. 
You know, okay. Now, we went when we went we went after that we went to the first scene we went to the uh, uh, the house where they're yeah. gonna have like in the beginning and stuff like that where you know they come in into the house and stuff now in to, to that one it was a matter of like as as we were planning it out and stuff like that we we were we wanted to keep it very brutal right yeah the, the, the vision that that we that we had it was something brutal so then what I was doing is I was picking up ideas on, 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 you know, what I already had in vision, but at the same time, I wanted to, I wanted to combine all of our skills and knowledge and I want all of us to have like, to like it, you know what I'm saying? So then I, when, when we were forming like, okay, uh, Bobby's movement, according to how he moves, you know, how his own body moves, his body mechanics, I was asking, okay, what are you comfortable with and stuff like that? And he would tell me, you know, I'm, I like to, you know, I move this way, this way, that, plus the other arts that we all seen for years, how he fights, I already have an idea on that. So then, that in combination with Jose Manuel and how he moved and stuff, right? And how Hector, I already know, been working for with Hector for years, so I already know how he moves, you know? Yeah. So it, it, it was a matter of like, okay, so then according to how they move their, their body, we, I, I, we, were, we were forming like, okay, this is where, you know, let's try with this move right here, this punch, this kick, yada, yada. And then as we're moving around and as we were flowing, it was, a, it, it was like a dance with, with Nick in the camera. You know what I'm saying? And with and also with Jefferson in the camera. We like, you know, as we're going, they were like, okay, this scene will look better here. And we were just forming the whole thing, the first scene right there like that in the house. And then as we were going along, my, uh, you know, as, as we were going along, I was like, okay, so they would, they would show me the punches and kicks and just show me the scenes, how they would do it. I would stay back, look at it, and then be like, all right, wait. And then I'll switch up the hands, you know, switch like, have it like this so it could look more, mm, you know. Yeah, yeah. Basically, for after that first one, we were like, you know, every time I do the films and they, they see it, when when everybody's face is like, "Aye," then I'm like, "It's good." <laughs> and, 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 hats off, hats off to Roxy. She did great in that scene. Yes, she did. shout yeah. out to Roxy, yeah. man. Oh yeah, so, she looked. So, she was so, having fun. Yeah. <laughs> she was. She had a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. We we yeah. pushed them like we pushed their their their, their characters out because we wanted to convey their characters and stuff. So like like to really show it right. So like that whole big scene is like you know we already had it in a certain way, but then when we saw how the you know the free for me to say this like the, the that scene where in the trailer I say I'll say the trailer as they're <laughs> they they show all the characters it's like one of those like ah oh, mm-hmm. yeah like, wow there it is there's the characters and then we had her just come out and say hey Roxy let's see how you do she did her part and we were like can you do more and then she kind of took it home she <laughs> she went yeah. wait. She, as she was going through her scene, I was like in the back with Nick. I'm like, I think we just might have done Harley Quinn by accident. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. You may have done better, actually. <laughs> she, yeah, she went, she went all the way. I was like, yo, she's crazy. And then <laughs> it went, it went phenomenal. Um, and the guys, they worked so well together. It was a, it was a, it really was a com, a, 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 a combination, a, a teamwork, um, thing that we did. Like, I didn't want to go ahead and create the entire thing. Off, off of my head alone, because first off, my head will explode, and second is because I like to show everybody's actual body mechanics, and that's what makes the scenes really good. The reason why you see like how how that scene right there in the beginning, how like that fight scene back and forth went, it was because of everybody that did something there. That's how they do they would do it in, in real life, you know what I'm saying, or that how yeah. they would be able to move the camera. Then when it comes to like the whole big shebang at the end, you know. Like to, in the where where we at that 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 ending part, what I did is uh, uh um I had seen before a, a scene from from Brophy, right? He was you know we we were just chit chatting and stuff while we were practicing. He was helping us practice, and then in our practice, like you know, and he had just come he had just come by to like eh, you know just help out and stuff like that. But in our practice, I'm looking I'm looking at the video that he is showing me of something because I asked him, oh yeah, I mean chit chat, and then all of a sudden when I saw that video, there was something there that matched exactly what I what I was looking for, right? So nice. I'm still formulating. We were still formulating the day of practice. We we're formulating all the scenes and actually making it work and making it happen. That's why. Um, so when you when you rent it out, you'll see that there's a trailer at the end. It'll show exactly what I'm talking about right now. Like you know, we hash it out, and 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 we luckily actually pulled it out. We, exactly how or close to in some things to how we practice it and right 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 you know as that was happening we we're practicing these things i'm looking at this and i'm like uh i want him i was i asked him straight up i'm like can you 
show me a choreo, come up with something like this? And he was like, sure. And then I go up to, you know, I'm like, like Nick, um, I want this guy to do something real quick. Like, you know, and then we show the guys, we're like, listen, look at what he could come with. This, this guy came up with. I kind of went all in on it with, with him. And it, it, they, they created, they brought in something great. Yeah. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. They brought in some a, a piece to the to the whole puzzle that when they showed us, I was like blown away. I was like, <laughs> yes, that's it. And then all I did was honest real, real talk. All I did was just enhance a little bit the gruesomeness. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like oh, I was like, yeah. okay, I want more. Let's 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 now instead of just like, oh, here's a gun. There's a bigger gun. <laughs> like yeah, you yeah. know, instead of like shooting here, shoot to the face. You know that that you know you know what I'm saying? Enhance it a bit more, make it more like. Mm, where the audience is like and all of us were yeah. like geeking out because we're all fans of, of action so like uh, we you know as i'm going along and i'm as i'm talking and i'm, I'm in this weird flow and and my mouth just starts moving the, the, the guys can tell you i get into the zone and then i'm like imagining and envisioning using my hands like i'm doing right now and then um <laughs> they they when i'm doing this i'm seeing also everybody's reaction and then that's what's giving me okay this is what we are looking for when right, I see right, everybody right. in the room that's like, hell yeah. Then I'm like, this is it. Yeah. Because again, we're yeah. all fans of, of of action. We all love that, you know. We all and we all work in in this as a team, so we we want to hit it right, you know. And I'll and I'll hear people out and stuff like that, and then you know I'll I'll try to work with their ideas. When when something is a little, you know, when when sometimes on sets you get a little uh, different ideas and stuff, and it's a little challenging, we did the right thing and like look let's hear each other out you know and we heard each other out and that was phenomenal that part right mm -hmm. there you know and we did like you know everybody had little discussions and stuff you know what i'm saying and then when sometimes you know some of us had you know like in my like for me i'll put myself in an example there's points where some people don't see my didn't don't see my vision right and mm -hmm. it's like wait a minute just just trust me let just sit and luckily the, the guys they trust me they're like all right <laughs> let's see what happens and then it's like at the end it's like <laughs> we're all like yeah we like it we all did great like, you know and it's a team thing and when i see in in during these discussions like example jefferson had come up with phenomenal ideas that that we were like uh i was you know we're all planning it out chit chatting like okay what about this and i'm like and that when you get that reaction like oh everybody had the same reaction like yeah cool. and we did that you know we incorporated it and all of a sudden when we shoot it it it, it, it was and seen it behind behind the uh set you're looking at it that way and you're like wow and then wow. it's amazing yeah. and then obviously nick with his camera magic and then jefferson with his camera magic and forget it's, it it's that, all, that, it's all that. magic it's all magic yeah, it was uh funny. robert who, what was some of the phenomenal ideas he's talking about um well I, i'm not sure i can i can really give any of them without giving away plot points but suffice it to say i, I know what he's talking about we were trying to figure out how, let, let's just put it like this. We were trying to figure out how to uh, cap a certain scene. And we had all these different concepts. Well, maybe we could do this. Maybe we could do that. Maybe we could have them both do such and such. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, sometimes I'll step away from, from the group and kind of like get a big picture of everything. And, I'm, and, I, and I take inventory. And I just was like, okay, well, we still have these elements that that are in play right now that we haven't quite used yet so why don't we use that to cap the scene everybody's like oh right 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 certain other moments like there's a scene in the hotel very small scene where where bobby's on the phone and it's see it, we i even used it in the in the behind the scenes if you if you watch it the as a camera spinning around we're setting up to shoot him make this phone call and the lighting's all funky and I'm saying to myself, you know, with Nick has the equipment, I'm like, oh, we should shoot it like this. And I turn around and Nick's already doing it. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> like, and we did, we just keep having that, that, we just kept having that synergy moment of like, you know, one person says, well, oh, well, this is, this is what, how it needs to feel. Someone else, like, remember that movie where the guy did that and he, you know, he had the hat and they were driving in the car, like, right, right, I love that movie. So we're going to take that movie. And cram it into this, and then someone else will go right, but don't do it like that because that's already been done. We're gonna have him kick somebody through that, or Orlando's like, okay, throw me up up against a pillar, or slam me through something, <laughs> or kick me out a window, <laughs> or just drag me behind the car. Nice. And then, nice. and then we have like awesome things that just just keep happening, and of course, it, it goes, it comes back around to to you know Bobby once again pulling it off. 
Pull and it make it all happen. Awesome. Amazing. Amazing. Killed it. Killed it. A quick yeah. question, uh, Bobby. We have a question in chat here. Uh, is this also going to be coming to Tubi? Uh, yeah, we'll be working uh, over the next couple of months. Uh, we'll be adding uh, platforms. Uh, so we just there was such a demand with the festivals and and we just kept everybody. When is it coming? When is it coming? So we just decided to just let's just drop it now and we'll just gradually build the platforms out from there. You know, let's not cheat the public. So uh, right, right now right, we have right. it on Vimeo. It's available uh, along with the behind the scenes documentary. Uh, it seems to be doing very well. We we're very pleased with it. Um, and as the as the months go on, the weeks go on, we'll be adding platforms. Uh, yeah. So, All right. Awesome. Awesome. The more the merrier. Again, that, that you know, what I liked about this film is that the, the gradual pro progression of how the action happens. You know, it's not just an action film per se, where it just every other scenes it block punches, kicks. You know, there's right. a, there, it's it's front the, the action is backloaded to the story. If you really understand, you know, if you when mm -hmm. you watch it, and I think that the, the the roller coaster ride that Nick created with how the action is to be delivered, that that's the that's the joy ride of, of what everyone is uh, is enjoying right now. So um, I'm very pleased and very happy with that. Nice, 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 Nicholas, man. Yeah. Hey, hey. I all I gotta say is, I mean, I mean, everybody's hard work, you know. Jefferson, Orlando, putting putting it together, very much. And so. Bobby being being the legend that is you know that is him mm -hmm. <laughs> performing it. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, man. Filming it and not fucking it up is very important, man. <laughs> it's way harder than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, that's one of my huge pet peeves. That's that, so that I, much harder than people yeah. realize it is. It's very very difficult. And I just, man, huge props for you filming the action like how it was supposed to be seen, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Like, congrats, like just congratulations, man. Great Thank job. You. Was, so you said it was really difficult. It was and it wasn't. It it, it was because on. it was what made it difficult was that we were all wanting to operate at our highest level. And so we were constantly finding ways to push ourselves and to make sure that we were delivering delivering the best action that we could deliver at that time. So that's what that's really great. made it difficult. It wasn't because we were all in sync with each other in terms of the execution and the vision of this movie. We all knew what kind of movie we wanted to make. We had many discussions for months prior to even landing in, in, in Tijuana. <laughs> And even uh, while we were there, uh, you know, we would wrap for the day and the, the, what would happen is we go, we'd have dinner and, you know, we would then head back to the hotel room and it would be meetings about the next shooting day. Gotcha. It's me and Orly and Hector and Bobby and Jefferson. And we're all talking about, all right, we're going we're gonna, to we figure out how we're going to do these scenes or plotting everything mm -hmm. out. We're just making sure that everything's laid out. So I think what, what made it difficult was just how much of uh, hard work and, and energy and time put into it. But uh, as Everyone seems to be saying uh, all the time, uh, it paid off. It worked. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it definitely I, I, it's one of those things where it definitely takes like a village where it was like it was not like just it's not just me. Like I'm not just like standing there and I'm pulling out every brilliant idea. It was a community effort. We were all working together in as one to bring this thing home. So I, it's real. it was really on all of us that that the movie is as good as it is. Nice, nice. Copy that. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a shout out too, Nicholas, for uh, filming because that's that's one of my hugest, hugest pet peeves that I always complain about here on the channel. All my followers know. Mm -hmm. Because oh, yeah. uh here here's a good example. I talked about this yesterday, but uh UK martial artist filmmaker uh Michael Hold from the from the you know, he's from the UK. Mm -hmm. He messaged me the other day and he goes I can't do I can't do a British accent. I'm gonna fuck it up. But but he messaged me he, voice messages, and he sent me. He's like he sent me like eight of them, and he goes, he goes, mate, I just got done. Finally, I just got around to watching Snake Eyes. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh... He was losing. I never. He's uh... he's a very calm, humble guy, right? Yeah. He's a badass. But when you when you meet him, he's very hum humble and calm guy. I never heard him this excited. Like he was like cursing. He was like, "Motherfucker!" 
<laughs> I, I don't understand why they shot the fights that way. What? What? What a, what a waste! And he didn't. He said he didn't. He couldn't even finish the movie. He got oh man! And he turned it off. He, so that's why it's like it's ugh. huge, Nicholas. This is like a big deal for me, for fans of this genre. This is a huge deal, man. Because what, what was his name again? Was it Robert? Stuff? Michael Hogue. <laughs> Michael Hogue. <laughs> Michael Hogue. Listen, Michael Hogue. I'm talking to you right now. I feel your pain. Absolutely. You're, you're not alone, sir. We were all, all of us, every single one of us was hurt Fine. and betrayed and bewildered by, by Snake Eyes. Yeah. So that, you know, movies like this. Broke heart. Yeah, broke your heart. <laughs> yeah, movies like this. Uh, I was just like, oh, thank God. Like, they how do you make ninjas uncool? Like, how exactly. do you do that? <laughs> That should be the tagline on the poster. <laughs> um, how, do you make, how do you make Koji <laughs> uncool? Like, come on now, man. You got uh, somebody in chat here. R4 in the building. From hey, uh, hey, hey. Tanaka. Tanaka. One hey, of man. our musical producers uh, that contributed four, to, yeah. to the film. Oh, I he love the out. music in the movie. Uh, I love yeah. the music for sure. Hey, man, collective. Him and collective. And the collective. Right. That's right. Yep. Nice. They gave Love some them. great yeah. music to use in the movie. Yes. Uh, I enjoyed your relationship the, with your characters here, Bobby. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> with uh, my man <laughs> Armando. Armando. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, Armando they, did yeah. a good job in the movie as well. And and I think you know at first I was a little conf you know. We talked about, you know, the fact that I don't speak uh, a lot of Spanish <laughs> yeah. and, you know, he doesn't speak a lot of English. So, you know, how does that relationship work without the audience kind of like paying attention to that aspect of the relationship? So the way well, it, was, it was brilliantly written um, allowed us to, to just like we felt each other. He He felt me. I felt him, you know. He's my guy. I'm his yeah. guy. We, he's, he's got my back no matter what. He's yeah. got my back. And I mean, yeah. he's a brilliant, he's, he's, he's really unknown talent down in Tijuana, which is just amazing. I mean, the, the, the breadth of, of, of how he can remember dialogue and, and just, it, it, it's just, it was amazing. He turned in a good performance and I, I really enjoyed yeah. working with him. Oh, and Preston, yes, that, that's another one of those spots too, where, where the question you asked me a moment ago, like how, how did how does the synergy work and and what what kind of stuff was Orlando talking about? It's like Nick got the idea and the, for the story and everything, and he starts writing. And we had that conversation, and Bobby's talking about like, what do we do? And I anecdotally told them a story about my ex mother in law and her mother in law, who one spoke no English, one spoke no Spanish, and they would have phone conversations. And she would tell me about this stuff, and I, I thought it was fascinating. And I've seen it happen like a lot of times with like a Spanish speaking person and like an English speaking person. And I'm like, do you, do you speak Spanish? No, but y'all, but you guys are talking about gardening and like recipes, <laughs> like how, but it does happen. And yeah. so I think that's probably why that feels so, so true because as Nick tends to do, he won't necessarily tell you that, that, that he loved an idea. He'll just go, hmm. And then you see the script <laughs> and it's in there. It's like, oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, I loved how your character, Bobby, was just like revenge. We need to find this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. and Armando's like, no. <laughs> He's like, we know where he is. We do patience though, patience. You know, there's a little bit more. We'll get him. You know, but I like how he kind of had he kind of kind of had to hold you back a little bit because you were just like, I need to. Yeah, this and, and I wanted to, you know, I I, I love the movie years ago uh, that Denzel did. It was called uh, Man on Fire. Oh yeah, one of my favorite. One of my favorite. Uh, film and I just I, I tried to draw upon that for the character um, you know being in a foreign land you know not speaking the language to do what sort of thing and just you know and work backwards from there so yeah it was fun it was really fun awesome 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 uh, well I have some screenshots here and I'm gonna go I'm going some of it's from the trailer and some of it's uh -huh. from the film but I got I gotta show something I'm sorry. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got to show some things because, you know, I got to, I got to. Anyone I, under the age of 12 watching this, please look away right now. There's no kids watching <laughs> Pat Samurai Guy channel. <laughs> right. Go 
curse, I curse like a sailor on here. <laughs> but yeah, just I'm just gonna quickly go through these because I got to show something, you know. The, of course, yeah. Because I want to talk. I want to talk a little bit about it, and of course, you know, entice the viewers to go out and see it. But, but uh, yeah, love the location, Nicholas. Mm. Oh yeah, love the location, man. It definitely had that western vibe to it. I man. know. We got a comment on the on the Vimeo pages, just like this felt very Sam Peckinpah, and I was like, that's the one of the greatest compliments I can ever wow. get. Uh, there you go. To, to be compared to one of the uh, greatest American uh, filmmakers uh, wow. <laughs> of all time. But yeah, I love that western vibe. And speaking of western, straight up guns a blazing up in here, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bobby wasn't fooling around. He's on a mission for revenge. Just I was trying. That's right. I, I will say this that you know, I, I've done films for 30 years, action films, you know, a lot, a lot of wear and tear. This physically was probably one of the toughest films that I've ever done, be it Hong Kong, be it here in the United States or London, wherever. This was really physically one of the toughest. Um, because usually you have a counterpart where you can, you know, back to back, you get him, I'll get him. There was none of that. You know, it was just fighter, person, female, male, just, just back to back to back to back, you know, you took some bumps. You took some bumps, Bobby, in this one, you know, like, yeah. Oh yeah, I took I took, I took a licking on this one. I really did. (laughs) I have a photo of Bobby saved, uh, (laughs) Of like him on a chair, just like bent over, just exhausted, just, yeah, it and it was only like maybe halfway through our day. <laughs> there you go, collective music there. T, there he is. There you hey, go. Collective. Good job, yeah. Al. The collective, yo. Yeah, nice. banging music, man. Banging music, man. Love the music. It just fit the movie perfectly, perfectly. But but Orlando Jefferson, yo, yo. Well, I was on, okay. All right, let me just click on the the, the the image here, man. Let's go. Yo, this fight, <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ! You see, see these don't these stills don't do the movie justice, guys. Everybody watching, this was fucking fire, <laughs> fucking fire, to the point where I was watching the movie. I had my headphones on, and my my uh, my wife was in the kitchen right here, and she, <laughs> I yelled. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, right? And she came running in there. She was like, everything okay? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch the movie. And I was like, I was like, oh, you, oh, what? What? I yep. mean, <laughs> chopping, blood spraying, bodies everywhere, the movement, the way the fights are filmed. I was losing my goddamn mind, Nicholas. We had and we were on like, set giggling like little children. Claustrophobic <laughs> area, too. Such a small area to have so much. Stuff yeah. yeah, that space, that particular space in that location, if it looks small on camera, it was smaller in real life. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, like Bobby Somehow. would swing that machete around, and you know he would miss the front of the camera by inches. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. way small, and it got really hot in there too, really quickly because yeah. there'd be just a bunch of stuff, man, and we're all moving, and we're just the, the humidity would collect up and. Uh, man, but I gotta give that's a we gotta give that one up to, to B Squad Action. It's Angel yeah, Brophy and his team. Yeah, that was Angel, Angel. And his, uh, mm-hmm. B Squad Action. Yeah, man. They came up with that one. That was and a good, that, that was a good that, sequence. That's the beauty of the film because with the collective effort of all the action directors, what? no particular one action scene is like the previous action scene. <laughs> Everyone exactly. is progressively built uh, Solid collective. in its own in its own way. So yeah. We, we wanted we wanted when um when we were planning this stuff there was like you know before we even went to Tijuana and we were doing like via Zoom, my thing and Nick knows this for years I'm like I never wanted to repeat and every move has to be different. Yes. Done. Yeah. <laughs> I memorize every single thing. Yeah. And then and then as we're planning for the other one we're like oh this is what we're gonna do I'm like no we did that already they're like where I'm here and then I'll, I'll just right on top of my head. Did da, 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 this was sequence. It's, it was one of the gifts, I guess. I can remember the sequence as I see it. And then as we're going, I'm like, nope. He, he did that already over here. So then we're like, all right, what about this? That's new. <laughs> right. And then we just go from there. Or if I if we see it in a previous movie, we all would be like, ah, like, like Jefferson would be in the back. Ah, saw that somewhere else. I'm like, all right, switch it. And, I, you know, it's like, again, collective. But, you know, we were looking for that, that in that dance. I say this on on that scene points to to what uh, the, uh, both uh, 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 Bobby and, and Nick were saying how like small it is in 
Facts. Very, very small. But it, we pulled it off thanks to, yes, Brophy and the skill of the of everybody in there because it was like a dance. Like, I'm talking about that machete is swinging. There's the camera going this way. And behind that is the boom. And then yeah, <laughs> on certain scenes, whenever there was boom or like, you know, you know, it's, a lot of the blood splatter that you see there is real. And then whatever else is added, you know, so it was like a lot of like, it's a dance between every the whole crew and then the skill of the stuntman as Bobby's moving along chopping people. It's like here's a camera, boom! There's a person. The person just under the camera. Here goes Nick with the camera. And then it, it was a really, it was a really fine tuned dance that we could not pull it off if it wasn't because everybody, you know, thankfully everybody was, was with teamwork. Mm-hmm. We, we practiced yeah. and we 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 when we play, you know, we to give me children. We we play. But when it comes to work, it's work, go, let's go. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we, and thanks to all that, that com- combination we pulled off in that little small space, this epic, epic fight scene that we kind of mm-hmm. wanted to do for years. <laughs> it was amazing. And, uh, Bobby, and, you were, go ahead, Bobby. Yeah, because for, for, for the action for this, uh, you know, with my background with living with Samo and working with him and, and, and Umu Ping and, and all the others, you know, it's tend to be a little bit court. You, it, you can see the choreography, you can see the cleanness of the technique. So the challenge this time around, because I'm so programmed after 30 years for doing stylized action, was to kind of come out of my comfort zone and be vulnerable in sense in certain sections of, of, of delivering the action, but yet still keep that, that, you know, heroic posture or lead posture with how I, how I did the action. So... Gotcha. I was hoping that that came off. A lot of Bobby's uh, on ca- on screen exhaustion is real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah a lot of it that. is very real. Yeah, <laughs> but it works. It, it works totally for the works. character, yeah. especially with the yeah. story too. You yeah. know, when you're following the story, everything works. You know, yeah, he yeah. would be anyone would be tired. I, know, I think that's. Retired. I I heard a long Both time ago. That. This was on a, a DVD commentary. Uh, it was a, it was Blade Two. It was DVD commentary. It was Guillermo del Toro talking about making Blade Two, and he was like, he he was like, I hate two things. I hate that nobody sweats in action scenes, and they don't sweat in porn scenes anymore either. <laughs> <laughs> It's like no one sweats anymore. But at the time, nobody, you know, like, like every, there was something about people just being very dry when they're doing yeah. these intense action sequences. Yeah. And ever since I heard that, I, I, I took that bit of knowledge and I was just like, okay, so anytime somebody's doing any kind of physical activity in my movies, a la an action scene, they are, you are going to see them sweat. Yeah. You're going to see yeah. the effort and the strain on them uh, uh, throughout the entire thing. And, it, and it's just going to, and that makes it, I feel like it makes it more relatable because it's just, you know, that's what would really happen. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Uh, but yeah, just, just fantastic stuff. I mean, baseball swinging. Oh, <laughs> I mean, oh my God. Baseball swinging. We got guns yeah. blazing. <laughs> I mean, guns are blazing. You want to talk about this scene right here, Robert? Oh, uh, that I have to. I have to take that back to to Orlando. It, yeah. it was something. It was something that that he wanted. Like I, I got in a little bit of shape that last summer, and and he was like, he's like I want to see the guns with the guns." And then like <clears throat> he just kept saying that over and over again. I'm like, what are you talking? I want to see the guns. I want you. He's like, I want you. I want to see you come around the corner. And it'll be slow motion. We'll just pan up. And he, he even does it in the if you, if you watch the behind the scenes that that's that another one of the times that, that he that he was talking about it. He's like, I want to see it. You come up, the guns will come up slow motion. And then the funny thing is, we were running two cameras at the same time. Yeah. So I was running the B unit with with Jose and Orlando as, as he would jump in and out. And so Nick was like, "Well, go shoot it." We were like, "What?" He was like, "Yeah, we have to, we have to finish this over here. Go shoot that." Yeah. And then I handed Orlando the camera, and he was like. I'm used to this other camera. I'm like, now you got it. Just press this and do what you do. And then what you see is is what we got. Yeah. It's literally what I envisioned. After I saw him him dressed, I was like, (laughs) you need to be slow-mo, those muscles coming out the corner. Oh, my God. And (laughs) And I saw the two Mac-10s, and I was like, Orlando, look. Look. He was like, yes, those are the guns. We're doing this. You're like high-fiving and shit. Yeah. <laughs> so the challenge, the challenge, the challenge for that scene was that we were operating a two camera uh, unit that day, yeah. and I had to run from. Yeah, you're going set to set, set to right. set to do the action. Yeah, you, so 
Yeah, he was filming two action scenes at the same time during, during right. that. That's right. Same time. You were fighting the, double knife, the, the knife fight and the gunfight at the same time. The Look same at that. Right. Oh, I love this scene right here. Just uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. visceral. <laughs> Giggling visceral. like schoolgirls. Yep. Giggling like schoolgirls the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love Everyone it. had blood on them. We were like, Hold on, hold on. Whoa, we we'll got some sound issues here. Okay, go try it now. Go ahead. Our makeup our makeup our Lily Ellie also also me again. Yeah, you sound like a transformer. I do. I do. Oh, no. <laughs> Robots in disguise. It's a Megatron. Prime. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> Nicholas Ortiz is Optimus Prime. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, we got something it's going crazy. on there. I don't know if you want to bounce out and bounce back in. Try that. Don't leave me, Mitch. How about now? How about now? Still. The robotic. Yeah. Right. You want to try to just bounce out real quick? I'll, 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 hop, out, I'll hop back in real fast. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. All right, <laughs> All right cool. We'll just keep it rocking and rolling. So, uh, yeah, one of this is one of my favorite shots of the movie, Bobby. Oh, that's, that's the money <laughs> shot. One of the money mm. shots right there. Like, let's go. Yes, yeah. Let's go. And I see the sweat. Oh, which is <laughs> it's real. It's definitely real. Um, that that scene seems to grab everybody. I don't want to get it. too much that happens in it, but it, yeah. it definitely yeah. seems to like put the button for that. You know that that oh, action yeah. section. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, you know hats, again, hats off to Jose Manuel. Um, the, oh, let's let's do this. Let's give a special shout out to Hector Sorio because really that's his brainchild. That particular yep. action scene. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah, he yeah, kind of nice. previs that and uh he had that he wanted it, you know, done a certain way and and hats off to him because that was a, it turned out to be a brilliant brilliant scene, you know. And and Roxalinda who uh is becoming one of Tijuana's like big action queens now. She's done like three or four films with me and all like right. she's getting a, she's getting a nice little following. Nice. Nice. Yeah. She's got the bug. And, Bobby she's got Jose the bug, huh? Well, you know, I got to share the screen with him for the first time, so that was that yeah. was great, man. Looking forward to that, and we got a couple a uh, couple more things planned down the line with uh, Jose. Uh, we'll, we'll 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 bring that up, at, you know, at a later date. But um, there he is. Uh, Nick's hey, back. there he is. He's back. Do I sound better? Yes, you, sound back. Yeah. Yeah. All right. you are human again, sir. Hey, great. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? Uh, I was gonna say the scene where uh, we were uh, watching uh, Bobby stab uh, that one final kind of gang member or whatever like that. Our makeup artist uh, Lily Reynoso was just over my shoulder uh, with a <laughs> with a with a bucket of blood, and she's just like dipping her hand in it and then just slapping Angel in the face with blood <laughs> as it's happening, and then and 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 I'm like like whispering off the side more more. More money, <laughs> and she's like looking at me. She's like, "Really?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, keep going, I'm flinging on him." And so she kept flinging, and then I was like, "Okay, and stop!" And she's like, <laughs> and "That's how we ended up with that amazing, uh, that amazing shot with Angel." Nice. Well, I'm, I got to play. Yeah, you're having mic issues again. Um, you're like off and on. It's all good. We'll keep we'll keep it going. Yeah. Well, now I got to now I got to play the Rick Myers clip here. Show the fucking blood. <laughs> I got uh, the clip. Bravo! <laughs> I think it. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, we man. But yeah, we, when you bounced out, Nicholas, to check your mic, uh, we were talking about this two-on-one fight. It's fucking phenomenal, man. Phenomenal. I mean, yeah, I yeah. was screaming. I was screaming, kicking, jumping, yeah. kicking off the walls. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, dude! This is a fa this is fantastic and. And all the knife trickery is just brilliant, man. I don't think I've ever... I, I'm honestly thinking hard. Other fight scenes that had the knife trickery that you guys pulled off in the fight choreography with the back and forth of it. I don't yeah. know if I've seen anything like that, man. Yeah, that is the goal. 
it's that, was, that, was the, that was the goal. That was, that was the goal for sure. <laughs> we tried to, we just tried to just keep it and fresh and, and, and new and, and exciting, exciting for everybody and, 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 and Roxy and Jose uh, working, working, working all together. And Hector, Hector put together a really great choreo, choreo and that's that's the result you got there, that amazing sequence. That's, that's, that's the one I get the most compliments on. It was like, yeah, the two on one night fight is phenomenal. Again, I was I was screaming like a little like a little girl over here <laughs> i was giddy over here watching <laughs> uh, i have to ask i have to ask was this an homage this shot here was this an homage to way of the dragon ah. <laughs> if, if not if not that's what i was thinking about i was thinking about that but no. if you think it's an homage it deal. was an homage <laughs> <laughs> definitely yeah be can oh, baby oh we need with hector to go <laughs> yep. P-camp. Oh, speaking of, speaking of Hector. P-camp. Yeah. Speaking of Hector uh, again, big shout out, phenomenal yeah. as Lobo. Yes. There's something intimidating about because you know we have a, there's a lot of our favorite movie villains, right? They have very a lot of charisma, or sometimes they're over the top. They're bigger than life. Yeah. But then there's also something to be said about the subtle performance that uh, of a of a villain could be just as intimidating or sometimes more intimidating yeah. and i think uh mr lobo i think hector here pulled it off he pulled it off he really yeah. did pull it off he my did. favorite my favorite line that he delivers is when he says uh let's go honey yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. i love that that was great that was great and of Hector's course i got not an actor <laughs> And I gave him a whole scene, and he was sweating. That of all all the fight scenes, no problem. He's not. He anything you throw at him, he can do right. Yep. Yep. Long dialogue scenes, he was sweating bricks, just <laughs> like just okay. I gotta man, trying to do the thing and work on his timing, and yeah. he did. But he did a, an amazing job on that amazing sequence. Job. That yeah, did, yeah. Off really well. I gotta give it to him. Yeah, you know? yeah. and uh, I love this is a great shot. Nicholas, uh, mm. phenomenal. Get setting up the alter, the altercation here of all altercations. Yeah. You know, watching this fight, I remember what you told me last time you were here, Bobby. Before I was watching the, the when we got when I was watching the movie and got to this fight, yeah. and I remember you mentioned that Hector had a very Samo Hung way about him. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and holy shit, you weren't kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and you. this. This fight was brutal. Well, if anybody would know. <laughs> this fight was brutal, satisfying. Oh, my God. And who did the sound design? Who did the sound design? Was Nick. that you, Nicholas? Nick. I I did I did a lot of the sound work with the help of Jefferson, uh, laying in, like, the, the base, you know, like, kind of like the groundwork, and then I would come in and, like, really sweeten everything in. Um, uh, one of my... I grew up on Indiana Jones, and so, like, for me, if... I, if a punch it doesn't, if someone gets punched in the face and it doesn't sound like their soul got knocked out of their body, it's not a real punch. <laughs> I love those punches from Indiana Jones. Those are my. Oh, favorite, I love man. like the super sweetened like. Yeah, yeah, those yeah, are just yeah. so just they're so yeah, perfect. I hate. I, there was a couple of projects where I had to do more subtle stuff, and I was like, that's fine. But I was like, I really, yeah. I want to hear meat and bone get crunched. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 fun. Uh, oh, but yeah, this the sound design in this fight, Nick, nailed it, man. I mean, I felt like I was getting hit. Like yeah. I, that, I felt like I was getting, I was like, oh man, you know, I was getting hit. My, 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 my side hurt. The hurting job's here. done here, guys. Good night. Uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that, no, that's yeah. A, that's another scene. That's another scene that is like action wise, it's completely different mm-hmm. from everything else in the movie. It just, yes. it's different. Whereas I almost started to go into a stylized version, Orlando and Nick, they, they, they brought it right back home. Nick did not want it to be stylized to that point. No. He wanted that, you know, we've hated each other. There's, 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 yeah. there's animosity, there's tension, you know, there's blood to be spilled between the two of us. So it had to reflect that in the action. Uh, so I love the visceralness of, of that particular scene. How it juxtaposes yeah. against the rest of the action. In the, and the, film. the beauty of that, the, the beauty of that. So in, in that scene, since it was, it was like Bobby, Bobby and Hector, right? We wanted it to be like very emotionally invested. So me and me, me and Hector first had done the, the you know, we, we came up with a lot of the, the, the choreo, right? And, and as we we're going along and then Bobby comes along, he's like, so where are we at? And we we're like, 
come here. <laughs> so, and he's like, I can adapt. We were like, okay, where can you, you're comfortable with this and that. He's like, I'll adapt to anything, baby. That was, by the way, that's when you know you're like, I'm working with a pro here. <laughs> he's like, like I'll, I'll, adapt, I'll adapt to anything, baby. I'm like, all right, let's go. So we, the three, between the three of us, we came up with that entire scene. And, mm-hmm. you know, we were going back and forth and we didn't want Bobby to get hurt. So a lot of it at first, before we turned on the camera was, was you know, I, was, I did the scene with, with Hector and then Bobby was like, I could do it. And I'm like, all right, let's, let's go with it. So then we, that's, and that's how we just created it. And it matter of like 15 minutes, we did that, that whole thing, you know, between yeah. all the three of us, we 15 minutes mm-hmm. came, came up with something wow. like amazing. And it was just, yeah, yeah, it was just like, and then as we're shooting along, when it, when, when it went, Again, like a pro, he's like, "Oh, I got it! I can even, I can even do this." And we're like, "Uh, yeah." <laughs> so mm-hmm. it, it was, it was amazing. It was amazing, honestly. I got, I, I got again. We got to get props to, to Bobby and also Hector. Hector did phenomenal mm-hmm. with the with, yeah. with, with with this. And then in that in that scene right there, particularly since we were like we were telling Hector, you know, again, Nick Nick hit it on the, on the head. Like he was like when he said, uh, uh, "Hector has no problem with action, none." Right, and he's like that, you know. We, you know, he was sweating more when he was acting, and then when it came to this part, it was like, ah, I got this. We're like, all right, so we're gonna do this, this, and you're gonna punch here and this and that, and he got it. Let's go, and it was, it went phenomenal. We, the dancing camera around, you know, as the action smooth going along, you know, the the people that were there the, actually and live watching it because nothing is the, nothing in there is like, oh, I'm gonna hit here soft and there is soft. That's actual wall, and then the floor hits is actual floor hit. Obviously, Oof. you know what I'm saying we had to accommodate to a lot, uh, certain big, big things, but yeah. a lot of it, a lot of it was skill from us. Like Bobby, Bobby did a lot of that. Every that scuffle that you saw in there, we wanted it to be very nitty gritty, nothing repetitive, yeah. and we didn't want to copy from all the other ones. Uh, uh, for like a, the famous one that everybody <laughs> loves, uh, what is that Flashpoint? Right, right, yeah. That, right. Yeah. So right. we we didn't we didn't want it to copy, and then taking the man of fire as bobby said earlier and taking all these inspirational films that we saw we were like let's make something very dirty you know and, yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. man of fire has no stylized nothing and it's all just like took it to the streets dead. yeah right? <laughs> yeah so we were like okay so like let's see how like you know these guys are mad angry you know bobby's yeah. character is an ex ex uh, mili- you know cia military guy mm-hmm. so, like he yeah. has some type of you know some type of something lobo is more like I don't give a shit. Ah, right. boom, yeah. boom. You know, so yeah. that's what gave it that rise. That that, and then we wanted to amp it up as it went along, and get more, more dirty, more dirty, more dirty. You know, yeah. and then what helped it? What helped it is if you notice that you already notices, but you see the different changes in every and every uh, fight scene is completely different. And what helped it is that we add a little bit of style in the fight where where uh, Jose Manuel is fighting in Rosalinda. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There's a tiny bit of style to showcase the skill of the of the siblings, and then all of a sudden we go back to dirty, ex- die, yeah. you know, and and, and that's what yeah. variety. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's why this me. movie's special. There's a lot of variety in this. And film, and and, and just a, a, a quick footnote, I was uh, you know, you're your own critic, your, your worst critic or whatever. Yeah. Um, so I, we wanted to test it out with the festivals and things of that nature, but I'm just you know, you you you, you want. Traditionally, we're told to stay away from foreign festivals. They don't treat the American film so well. But the love that we got, um, you know, winning Best Picture in, in Japan and in China, wow. and Tokyo and in Indonesia and in Russia. And I mean, it just, you know, New York and Paris and London. Yeah. We, we were just we we're just blown away by the response. Yeah. Um, and for me, that's a first, you know. Um, New York's a tough, tough nut to crack. And uh, thanks to Nick, I got my first Best Actor award. So thank you. Yeah, yeah, well deserved. And I think Nicholas is frozen in time. Uh, there... <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> oh wait, there he's back. Are you, are you, are you back from the? Yeah, uh... I have no idea where I went just now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just went into the upside down. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I, yes. I heard games. I heard a grandfather clock just now. <laughs> you hear some Metallica. There's you, some you Metallica? I, I, I gotta run towards the Metallica now. Uh, <laughs> sound of a freight train uh, going by. I'm <laughs> currently I am currently queuing up Kate Bush into my, my earpieces <laughs> as we speak. I love it. I love it. 
But yeah, Bobby, well deserved, man. Well deserved. Oh, thank you, there. man. And, and I don't and, know if uh, Nick caught that or not. Thank you, Nick, because it's because of you that I got my first Best Actor award. So thank you. Is he's fro? I, he's frozen again. <laughs> again, but he's frozen it's in so the good. right way. Look at him. See? Right. Yeah, yeah. He's happy. He he's happy. He's happy. Wait, wait, he's back now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my my desktop seems to be very cranky about it's all good brother it's all good it we're is. having fun uh but yeah mm-hmm. i love uh back to the main fight uh orlando i love the body shots man oh yeah. the body shots that he was giving uh bobby in the kidneys and all that oh i felt that yeah, you know I love I it. And it. you got j skull <laughs> here in chat he says yo just watch the final trailer for this i'm all in on that fight <laughs> Definitely going to check out the film real soon. Check it out. There you Thank, you, Thank you, Jay. Jay I appreciate you, man. Yeah. Leave a up, comment baby. after you watch it, Jay. Appreciate that. Thank you. And don't forget, guys, uh, you can check it out on Vimeo right now. And afterwards, there's a plethora of behind-the-scenes uh, interviews. Uh, you see them break down the fight sequences and all that stuff behind the bullets. That's all included uh, after the movie. Uh, this film is a triumph. This is a triumph, uh, Bobby. Thank you. It is brother. a triumph. And I'm very, very happy for all of you and your success. Uh, but man, Nick, are you still there? <laughs> you get that again. Uh. <laughs> all right, I'll tell you guys. I'll tell you guys. I do have one pet peeve. I do have one negative. I have one complaint. Can't are you have ready? You ready? you ready for it? Let's have it. All right. I wanted more, god damn it. <laughs> That's, that's the other one. I, do it. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, it's that's over!" Oh, that's shit. the consensus. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, that's that's my that's my one negative about the movie is that I wanted more. I definitely wanted yeah. more. I mean, you know, hopefully, the, what we have now is what we have. A, we have a solid proof of concept, if nothing else. You know. Yeah. Um, I would like to see it developed for the big screen, and I'm hoping that you know people are paying attention, you know, um, to see what we've done for very little um, yes, in, yes. in today's standard and the quality mm-hmm. of, of what can be done for very little. Um, Them for a mere pittance, pennies on the dollar, you might say. Correct, uh, correct. And the reason uh, the reason why we, you know, we, we decided to go with a platform this time instead of doing like the YouTube thing is because like, you know, at some point, you know, YouTube is great nothing wrong with that you know yeah but because of where we are and what we're doing now we're just trying to we're trying mm-hmm. to take our film filmic prowess to a, a different level um if that makes sense especially in the independent film world um we we're trying to give quality now so right. we'll, we'll be increasing our times and things of that nature but the main thing is we want to make sure that the audience you know ha- has something that they can enjoy Yes, yes. Now, is it is it a possibility uh, you guys will all work together again, the same team, and do more short films? Oh, we're working together now. Oh, yeah. We, we, we just came back from Mexico. We just okay. got back shooting another one called Blackout. So, oh, we should. Yeah. We're, Let's we're, go. Yeah, Roxalinda's in that. She's got a great performance in that. It's great action. Um, uh, Orlando Twitchy and I. story. In this one, Orlando is the main villain, and I get to square off with him. So oh. you guys will be in for a treat with that one as well. All um, right, all right. Yeah. We need to we need to hang out again when the trailer's ready. Absolutely. We gotta Absolutely. do a trailer premiere right Absolutely. here, baby. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, Robert, keep me in the uh, Jefferson. Keep me <laughs> keep me in the loop, man. Keep me in the loop when that trailer come out. Absolutely, uh, sir. But yeah, uh, a no, trial- we. we uh, we have a formula, so we all do to, to make to, so that everybody is, understands what's going on. We all have our own separate groups, you know. They, the Deviant Children is Nick and and, and Orlando, and R Four Films is Robert and me. Um, we all still do our own little things, but what we found is that it, when we, when you have like-minded filmmakers, and you and you and, 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 and no one is about ego or anything like that, and you come up together with a collaborative effort um, and just take a chance on each other. That's the right. reason why. Uganda works so well because yeah. um, they had never been to, to, to Mexico. Um, we told them, you know, what to expect and everything, but they they believed in us and took a chance. And, um, you know, they went to Mexico and, and we, this is the result of people trusting each other in this business um, and leaving your egos at home. Like we all have our own little things. 
but collectively this 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 unit will never break up because we have gold as long as we stick together and as long as we keep coming with original ideas and concepts uh so that's really what it's about you know so thank you awesome awesome yes so again this film is a triumph and here he is again he's back <laughs> We're giving you all this praise, Nicholas. And I'm missing here. every single bit of it. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you'll watch the replay. <laughs> uh, before we move on to the next project, Nicholas, I was just saying that this film is, is a triumph, man. Thank you, sir. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, all of the projects that you guys have uh, coming up. But let's uh, flip it. Let's flip the switch here. We going back, baby. That's right. We going back. The old school kung fu now, son. That's right. We're going to the Shadow Fist, baby. So the Bobby's going to talk. A, Bobby's going to talk a little bit about this, but let's go ahead and, and uh, play the trailer here, baby. And uh, all you old school kung fu movie fans, this is for you. That's right. This is an homage. We keeping the old school alive. That's right. So enjoy this little teaser, and then we'll talk a little bit about it. Here we go. Bobby, let's talk a little bit about this project. Go ahead. Floor is yours. Yeah, so, so like, you know, growing up, I loved the old Shaw Brother movies and Golden Harvest. That's really where it all began, you know, the That's early right. days. But we've watched the progression of, of cinema and how things have changed and, and things of that nature. So this, Jeff and I, we had came up with a, a loose concept about, you know, let's show some respect to the old school. You know, they, they don't they do not do it like that anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so Jeff wrote a a concept out for for Shadow Fist One, and everyone loved it so much they were like, "Please, please, could you do a, a Shadow Fist Two? Um, Shadow Fist One was very short; it's uh, just a little small concept. But for this particular film, we decided to kind of like really just okay, since they appreciate it, let's just take it a step farther um, and give them a thrill ride with old school action and and showing respect in that in that in that genre." Um, and so far, you know, people have, uh, people have been liking it. So that'll be a, nice. a later release for us next month. That'll, that'll be on our, our Vimeo channel. Oh, awesome. So right around the corner. Yep. It's right oh, around. Awesome. The yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, and, and again, that's another film. That's a collaborative process. Hats off to, to Nick and Orlando. They help produce the film, you know, and again, this is how we work. You know, every one of us has their own groups and things of that nature. But when we, when we need to work together, this is how we we get gold, for lack of a better term. So this yeah. is just another venture, and we got more to come too. Awesome, awesome. Are we are we are we thinking we trilogy? Betty, we got Black Betty, the series. Are we, go, are we doing uh, Shadowfish got, trilogy? Uh, ah. <laughs> mm. We'll see what the we audience. Can... We'll see what the audience says on two. Okay, okay. If if the if if the audience likes it, if you guys. The man to three, maybe there'll be a three. Maybe there'll be okay. a three. Okay, okay. Well, I, I, already I got have, something. I already oh, have ahead. an idea. And we've been checking out some stuff. We have. Okay. Well, I can, I, I can, I can vouch uh, for everybody here, guys, because uh, Bobby showed me uh, some of the behind the scenes. And let me tell you something right now, all you old school kung fu movie fans. Let me tell you something. This is five star fight sequences. Five out of five stars. Okay, well, thank you. I was losing it watching these fight scenes. So you guys are gonna enjoy. Trust me, you trust Sam. Thank you. Come on, you know I know the That's genre. Right. That's right. So That's five out of five. Yeah, Jeffrey Jefferson. Five out of five stars, baby. All these fights, I was losing it. Oh, I was thank losing. You, man. I was that. giddy. Thank you. 
<laughs> and again, oh, you know, we wanted to get, you wanted to evoke that feeling of you know Saturday Kung Fu afternoon theater. Yeah, where you just race home and and watch all the Shaw Brothers, the Five Venoms, and all that. You know, and they would do those techniques and all. You know, but we wanted to do it in a respectful way. You know, it's yeah. it, listen, it's it's not it's not easy to do having a, African Americans carry the lead in what's uh, traditionally a, a Chinese type of a film. You know. So the main thing was to kind of create characters that the audience would empathize and actually be like, yo, that I love that guy's character. So, you know, and they won't pay attention to the fact that, you know, it's, it's what ethnicity you are. You just go and just have wholesome fun with the film. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. And that's what it's all about. Entertainment yeah. and having a good time. All right. Yeah. Uh, before you. we wrap it up for the day uh, again, an honor, an honor, that's right. Cool. Having all you badasses here today. Uh, we'll, we'll go around the circle really quick here. Uh, we'll start with Orlando. Orlando, anything you got to say to your followers before we wrap it up? Uh, I got to say, uh, keep following us. Check out Jugando con Fuego on uh, Venmo. And yeah, just keep following us. Follow us at uh, R4 Films, also at Deviant Children Productions. And soon you'll soon you hear from you know Four Brothers Studio, but that that's coming future later on. <laughs> that's right. Awesome, awesome. All right, Jefferson. Um, what Nick's uh, what? Sorry, what Orly just said. Yeah, uh, definitely <laughs> check us out. Keep following Deviant Children's R Four Films. Go to Vimeo, watch Who Got No Con Fuego, and then tell a friend, and then rent it again, and you and your friend watch it. And then leave a comment and tell us how, how amazing it was or what you what why you liked it, what you thought about it, and, and help us keep it going. Um, also, watch out for Blackout coming soon with uh, with these guys right here. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Blackout, I didn't even know it was coming. So awesome. I can't wait to see the trailer here for sure. Oh, let's get to this, this, this legend down here. Hey, <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> Um, yeah, of course, follow us on our YouTube channel, DeviantChildren.com. Of course, you should be following R4 Films on top of that. The movie Jugando Con Fuego is on Vimeo On Demand, VimeoOnDemand.com slash uh, Jugando Con Fuego. And if you use this promo code, JCF2022, you get a use discount off your rental fee. You Please use the, use the code and then share the code and tell everybody to do the same exact thing. Awesome, awesome. And be on the lookout for Shadow Fist 2 coming out in a couple of months. Yes. <laughs> All right, awesome. I'm excited for that too. And last but not least, the man. Uh, thank you. I appreciate everything. You know, before we cut off, I wanted to give a special thanks out to a, a couple of people that, you know, I didn't say their names often in this. Um, that would be Osil Tiari Cassell. Thank you for supporting us and, and believing in us as one of our executive producers. Mark Wiley, who also was one of our executive producers. Thank you. Of course, you know, you guys know Mark Wiley from uh, Made in Chinatown. Uh, he was one of the uh, producers and creators of that. Um, shout out to the Santi brothers, Jason and Damn James. Um, thanks to them because they helped us get a lot of the services that we needed in Tijuana. Um, you know, you're in a foreign land, you know, you need help. Um, capable producers and uh they've been working with us for years and, and and thank you so much and also flora um thank you also for helping find the locations uh especially the end location that end location was a uh uh um, yes, flora. it was in the middle of it was in the middle of nowhere it was a club and so not a part owner in, in the middle of uh, <laughs> the desert. So um, thank you so much. But uh, yeah, just wanted to give a shout out to the people that backed us on this. Um, shout out to all the stunt crew. Uh, Tora Alita, thank you so much. You, you did a brilliant performance opposite Guapo, um, Roxalinda, everyone else that was involved. Thank you so much. And again, we can't create this content if we don't have support. And I just really wish and hope and pray that you guys go over to the Vimeo and then show us a little love. And I, I do thank you so much for everything. Awesome. Awesome. And before we end it, uh, Nicholas, is there going to be a Blu-ray or DVD release or we're we keeping it digital? Uh, we're probably going to remain digital for, uh, for now. Uh, however, we're, I'm always game to do a DVD Blu-ray release. I would love to do a director's commentary. Yeah. Where oh, the entire yeah. movie, I say nothing but see everybody here sweats, and that's what makes this movie great. <laughs> 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 
well, you know, come out on Blu-ray DVD, Samurai got going to buy it there, too. Represent. Right, you know right. Appreciate it. Thank so, you. So, uh, <laughs> thanks, all of you badasses, for watching today. Don't forget to check out Uganda Confuego on Vimeo, and stay tuned, because it will be out on a plethora of other platforms. Yes. That's right, because it's getting good buzz, and it's well deserved. That's right. And all you future filmmakers out there, action, martial arts, movie buffs, hey, watch this movie. You're going to learn something. And don't forget, Show the fucking blood. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. True words never spoken. True words have never been spoken. I Thanks for it. watching, guys. Uh, All don't right, forget you. Thank you so much. All right, brother. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, don't forget to join me tomorrow. I'll be with director Miss April Wright. We're going to be talking about her documentary, uh, See at the Drive In. So that will be tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific time. So join Samurai Guy there. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for attending. Like I said, it's your second home. I'm awaiting that blackout. Yes. Uh, don't go anywhere, but you guys, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Keep watching them kung fu movies, baby. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>